So, as we said before, none of us probably practice enough putting. I even admit it, I don't know. So, that says a lot. But, as I said before, it makes up probably half the strokes in a round. If you shoot an 80, you know, maybe 30, 35 of those, like, plus. So, if you can cut that back down, you can go from an 80 to a 75 pretty easily. You just take a few more putts. So, I thought it really well. Not that I'm surprised. Because I'm not. I knew you could all do it. But... That was really good. Uh, so the things that I obviously like harped on every two seconds. Uh, so the things that I harped on the most were were what? Someone tell me. Kelly, since you've been picked on the most. Uh, yep, ball position, uh, tempo of the stroke. Yep. Weight forward, hands forward, and then depending on the shot type, the club selection. Um, the stance would be kind of in between what the chip was and a full swing, maybe a little bit open, uh, and where should your hands be? Yep, just a little bit forward, and also depending on the shot, you want to make like about a half swing. And the big thing, follow through. Make sure you swing through every single shot. I hate it when people jab at it. <laughs> you just, it's just like a full swing. If you're taking a full swing, you're not going to get the ball. Hit the ground and stop. Full swing, you're going to hopefully hit the ball, swing, follow through. Same thing with the pitch. Swing, follow through. It does need to be an aggressive swing. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for, for doing these uh, four clinics with me. I hope it was beneficial. I hope we all learned something. Um, great job on the full swing. Uh, like I said, the things that I was really just trying to tackle is the alignment, the grip, the posture, the setup, all those little things you take for granted that if you do properly can really help your game immensely. You really get taken for granted way too much. So the things that I want everyone to, to focus on is some of the alignments. So you're lining up, make sure to put a club down or an alignment stick. Line yourself up, make sure that before you swing, especially when you're on the range practicing, you're all set up. Uh, and then when you're playing on the course, you can't be putting an alignment stick down, but you can have a look over your shoulder, make sure you're lined up, make sure your feet are lined up. That's probably the biggest thing I see with people. I have a problem with it as well, and there's nothing worse than hitting a great shot and not being lined up. So make sure to to always check your alignment. Uh, your grip, some of you had a great grip, some of you, Kelly. I've been picking on you for all these clinics, but when you had your grip proper, you were hitting the ball a little better, so make sure to you know focus on that. And I think the main thing that I just want to get across is, is always, and I've been saying it for all the clinics, is always make sure to rotate. Get everything to follow through, get the hips to turn, get the belt facing the target, and finish every swing. You can do those things, then there'll probably be other problems because that's golf, but then we'll figure those out when it comes. <laughs> but all those pre-swing uh, fundamentals are huge, and they all affect what happens afterwards. And then some little things we worked on otherwise. But thank you so much for everything. I hope this helps. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.